Hi, this is Liz with Egghead Fixers. Today we're going to be discussing what to do with, with your Razer computer. If it turns on and off, freezes, or won't turn on at all. What we're going to show you how to do is do what's called a BIOS reset. Or, and while we're doing this, we're also going to show you how to do a CMOS battery replacement for those who want to know how to do that, also known as a CMOS battery replacement. The reason why we're showing you how to do a BIOS reset is oftentimes this can fix these problems uh, that we mentioned before. Uh, but as a shout out, this is a part of a series of videos that will show you, take you through the diagnostic process on all the possible reasons, uh, all the possible fixes for this problem. So if you find that this fix doesn't uh, repair your computer, move on to the next video in this series because as you know, one repair doesn't necessarily cover and fix every problem that could possibly be happening with your computer. So if this video doesn't work, Go down to the description down below and move on to the next video in the series. But anyway, that's enough talking. On to the repair. Look up a disassembly video first for your make and model of your computer so you can locate the CMOS battery. Sometimes you have to disassemble a video for it and it varies from model to model which is why we didn't include it. There are two kinds of CMOS battery, wired and a cradle kind. First we will discuss the wired kind. If you don't have this kind, proceed further down the video where we show you how to do this with the cradle kind. So to do a BIOS reset you have to remove the CMOS battery for 20 minutes. So with the wired kind you have to locate the two plastic tabs on the side, put one finger on each side and gently pull up being careful not to break that cradle. Once you break that cradle it's extremely unforgiving. Sometimes it damages the motherboard to the point where you can't use it anymore. So you have to be careful. Now that you've done that, go ahead and set your CMOS battery and your motherboard aside for 20 minutes. This amount of time will reset BIOS. Once that time is up, it's that simple. You've done your BIOS reset. This fixes a world of problems, including the ones we mentioned in the beginning of the video. This is an excellent repair to know how to do. So go ahead and plug it back in gently, like, just like you did. And now BIOS is reset and this will oftentimes remedy the problems that we mentioned in the beginning of this video. Now the cradle kind of CMOS battery. Now the cradles vary drastically from model to model. Uh, this is the most common kind so we'll demonstrate it on that but if you find your kind looks different of cradle for your CMOS battery then you may have to change or adjust the way you do it. Sometimes there's a flap or a piece of metal you have to move. But for this kind you take the, to the tool right there, the screwdriver, you set it there and you push it to the left gently, being careful not to break the cradle because once you break it, it's very hard to fix it. So you have to be very gentle with it. Now to do the BIOS reset, you remove the battery for 20 minutes and you set a clock. And in that 20 minute time, BIOS will reset. And so uh, fixing many of your problems. Once your time is up, then you put the battery back in. And it's that simple. And these BIOS reset, it fixes many, many problems, including the ones we mentioned in the beginning of the video. So it's an excellent repair to know how to do. So oftentimes this will fix those problems we talked about in the beginning of the video. But if for some reason maybe this wasn't the problem with your computer, then you would proceed further down in the series to the next one to see if one of those fixes are what's wrong with your computer. And as a quick shout out, after you've done a BIOS reset, you have to set your BIOS clock. We've included a video on how to do this in the description down below. Thanks for watching our video today. If you find that you like do-it-yourself computer repair videos, free IT advice, or just knowing how to take care of your computer problems yourself, go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below. We'll do our best to get back to you as soon as possible. Also, if you found this video in any way helpful, please like and share. Anyway, this is Liz from one egghead to another signing out.